All right, all right, all right. It is Friday, Friday, April 24th at 7.58 a.m. A.m. What you do, I'm going to do everything I do want to do in the light of day. Today is Friday. This is society shame. This is fuck you Friday. And it's, and like I said, it's, it's, this is an adult conversation. In the black community, we cuss a lot. So if you cuss a lot, you got to understand the conversation. It's fuck you Friday today. It ain't fuck me, it's fuck you Friday. All right. Getting ready to go live on Anchor Broadcast, Anchor FM, Society Shame on FM. It's a live broadcast that we will be doing every day, seven days a week. It's going to be activism, art and activism. I'm starting this out in the basement, but I'm going to take it outside when the weather breaks. We're going to highlight the good in the hood and the good in the community and the positive in the community because we never get that recognition. All right. So five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Today is Friday. Welcome to Society Shane. The day is Friday. It is 7.59 a.m. We are doing a live broadcast here on Anchor FM. Society Shane. Today is Fuck You Friday. It ain't fuck me, it's fuck you. This is a grown-up conversation about grown-up things. So don't take the vulgarity of my conversation in a bad, negative manner. In the black community, in the black community, we use language that the white community don't use. All right, we use motherfucker, we use some bitch, we use vulgar language. But the white community's intellectual says that curse, cursing shows a higher degree of intelligence. So, who the nigga now? All right, flip mode ain't a record label. It's my lifestyle. I take a negative and turn it into a positive. But I've been putting it on film. Now, we're down here in the dungeon, in the basement, because that's where they made beats at. That's where they started hip-hop at. That's where they started a lot of things at, all right? A lot of things that they started at. Now, all y'all that want to chime in, y'all can chime in. If y'all want to talk about dissent decrees and if y'all want to talk about other things, do that. That's what this is for. When I get out in the streets, that'll be a chance for your conversation. But today, we're going to talk about the things I want to talk about. All right. Talk about the dissent decrees. Talk about the denial of civil rights and human rights. Well, that's why I'm using social media to do it, because mainstream media is not going to tell you this story. Jane Miller is not going to show you this story. Barry Sims not going to show you this story. None of them is going to show you this story. Fox 45 ain't going to show you this story. So I'm going to give you the behind the scenes. It's Baltimore rewired. It's Baltimore rewired. Y'all made a lot of money off of the wire and the demonization of being black in Baltimore. Only a few people that were a color got paid off of that. But y'all exploited the, the projects. Y'all exploited our living in conditions. So I, I chose to make a difference. In 2006, I started this. All right. I started this in 2006. These are tapes. And these tapes go back to 2006, 7, 8, 9, to 10. Got the FBI tapes. I got my Community Verizon Award. I got my reward from uh, Hassan Giordano. All right. It's like I said, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Just like Snoot in the Wire. She was true to that. She wasn't new to this. That's why she was so comfortable in her role. And I'm going to be comfortable in mine. I'm comfortable because I'm a caterer. I'm comfortable because I'm a caterer. I take pictures. You take pictures and capture the moments. I remember when your child was born, we did a bar mitzvah. I remember when your kids graduated from high school. I remember when you got married to your wife. I remember when you got drunk on graduation night. Parties. All right. Shorties is a well-known entity from 1997 till this day. And you never bite the hand that feeds you. So I'm going to show the people... On Anchor Broadcast can't see this, but people in uh, Facebook and social media can, all right? These are videotapes from, like I said, 2006, 7, 8. This is Baltimore Rewired. This is Baltimore Rewired through one man's vision. One man's garbage, another man's goal. And my goal is to change the dynamics in Baltimore. So here we go. I don't know what's on these tapes, but we just gonna play them. Call this number right there. I want you to call every senator, every congressman.
I want you to stand up and tell them the shorty story. I ain't hard to find. I don't own the rights to this mu music, but I do got a right to use it. Ja Works gave me the right to use this music, so you can call the man and ask him. See, y'all didn't see these videos. The grand jury didn't see these videos. Our elected officials don't want you to see these videos because it was about being black in Baltimore. It's about your made a documentary in the movie and I'm still doing it. It's an ongoing presentation. It's like Doogie Hauser. Y'all remember that a long time ago? Y'all remember Happy Days? Well, I ain't the Fonz. I'm doing it like Doogie Hauser because every morning Doogie got it up and he got on his computer and he tapped and sent. And he said what he did with his day. I did the same thing. Except I did it on Falls Road. I did it on Falls Road in Joppa. I did it on Falls Road in Mount Carmel. I did it on Falls Road in Padonia. I'm the king of Falls Road. I'm the king of barbecue. To be the best, you got to beat the best. And ain't nobody beat me yet. And that's Shorty's Bootleg Barbecue. Also Shorty's Underground. Established in 1997. The difference between me and Baltimore The Wire, I own all rights to my shit. I got 100% of Shorty. So when I say... Baltimore Rewired, I got the tapes, I got the social media, I got the cameras, I got the awards, I got the paperwork, and I have a charismatic personality. Love me or hate me, you got to respect me for the work that I put in my community. I just don't run my mouth on uh, social media. I put my work in the streets, and it's been spoken for since 1997. You can look on Hard Look with Richard Share if you want to use media, mainstream media. The Beltway Gourmet. I'm one of the top 10 restaurants in Baltimore, and I don't even own a restaurant. It's just my skills, my culinary skills. To dismantle the master's house, you got to use the master's tools. He uses social media to engage you, to enlighten you, to educate you, to steer the conversation. But if you're going to sit here and pay attention to everything that he got and never question it, that makes you a sheeple. You are no longer a person. You do not have your own state of mind. So part of this social media project is letting you voice your opinions, giving you chances and opportunities to be heard. Social change by social media. Martin Luther King gave y'all that when he did uh, bus boycott in Alabama. Martin Luther King gave it to you again in Tennessee when he, in Tennessee when he gave you that trash boycott and then y'all killed him all right you killed mega evers you killed malcolm x so i use those individuals in my conversation you killed fred hampton in chicago you got a lot of our black leadership incarcerated all right so that's why i'm a prisoner's right advocate and homeless advocate those things are dear to me Jesus had a cross, and y'all killed Jesus, and he was for social media. He was for social change. So his social media was rocks and his actions. He wrote his stories in rocks and stones. They put them on tablets, and they told you about Jesus. Through every generation comes a person of change. It's time for that change, but that change needs to come from everybody. It ain't going to come from one person because you don't get that one person that much power. Jesus had a cross, Martin had a dream, Malcolm got a gun, Shorty got a toilet, and we all had our shit to deal with, so I put my shit on the toilet, not only put my shit on the toilet, I put the people on the toilet to go with it, see a joke ain't never funny when you the blunt of the joke, and that's all I've been doing is telling jokes, I've been telling jokes and telling truths, I've been telling jokes and telling truths, and those truths are very well documented and that's why i'm going to anchor broadcasting because that's just a stepping stone i'm gonna go do podcasting anchor broadcasting social media and i'm gonna reach markets outside of america because see money's international so is the story baltimore the wire went international now 
Like I said, end game is about money. And everybody like money. I make money, money don't make me. I want to make money to get the money away. I want to be a philanthropist. I'm going after white people's money and white people's cash because that's the only thing that white people respect. The same way that y'all took money from Baltimore when y'all made the wire, I'm going to take money from the government. I'm going to take money from these disrespectful Democrats. Like I said, it's fuck you Friday. And y'all had 11 years. Y'all been fucking me since 2008. We're going to switch positions. I'm going to fuck you from now till the day I die. We're going to start talking about politics and politicians. And we're going to talk about it through catering. Because I work for 85% of the richest people in the state. I learned from the best of y'all. George's meat over in Conklin. Before they switched up over there. Before you gentrified the community. Pat Arrakis, the fathers and the sons. Peter Angelos, the law firm and the Oreos. Y'all stuck me up without a gun, so I'm going to do the same thing to y'all. My mama always taught me, it ain't never stealing when you do it in your face. Y'all stole from me and you did it in my face. It's a fair exchange and it ain't going to be no stick up without a gun. It's going to be a stick up without a gun. I'm going to use the camera and the law and the courts the same way that you used them on me. We're going to show you society's shame because y'all be shaming us in court. Y'all be shaming us with the TVs and the radios and the broadcast in our communities. So we're going to flip that script. When I see the media out in the streets, I'm going to shame them. When I see a politician that has something to do with my illegal incarceration or I feel is corrupt or unjust in their positions of power, I'm going to shame you. I took that book from Martin Luther King because he had the campaign of public shame. I'm going to shame you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You're going to be like my weekend girl, my Saturday love affair. You feel me? Because on Saturdays, we're going to show the good in the hood. We're going to show the positive that Baltimore has to bring. I ain't just going to be this negative nanny. I'm going to be the Ralph Nader of the neighborhood. I'm going to give you truths versus lies, and we're going to put them against each other. We're going to mirror them up. Because in 2020, we're going to man up. We're going to level up. We ain't just going to toss glasses and puff, puff, pass, pass. We're going to hold folks accountable. If you got a seat in, if you got your seat in office and you representing the community or you representing the people, then you got a standard of justice that you're supposed to stand on. It's a portion of integrity that should be in your pocket, not that paper. I hold myself to a higher standard just like I hold anybody else. And if anybody catch me slipping, check me. Pull my card the way I pull yours. I deserve to be treated any way that I treat you. It's a fair exchange. But since you treated me first, it's my turn. And it wasn't just one person that treated me. It was an entourage of individuals. There was an analogy. And I like parables and analogies. And I like Bible stories. And I like Mark Twain. But there was one story that this man told me. It was about the young bull and the old bull. They was at the top of a meadow. And at the bottom of the hill, it was like, 50, 60 heifers at the bottom of the hill. The young bull was so excited when he seen all them heifers. He's like, damn, let's run down the hill and fuck one of them heifers. The old bull looked at the young bull and said, yo, why don't we walk down and fuck them all? So that's what I'm going to do to them politicians. Everybody that participated in my shit, fucking me around. I'm going to walk down the hill and fuck all of y'all. I'm asking people to give me toilets because toilets is a legal form of protest now i set that precedence you feel me i set that precedence in 2011 because y'all took me to court for toilets it was about my constitutional right of freedom of speech it was also part of my movie release if anybody ever seen the movie the jerk and steve martin and the jerk he had a toilet and a dog that's my dog whitey that's my toilet and i'm just the jerk Remember in the jerk? I'm just a poor white man or poor black man. Well, my birth certificate say I'm white. So I'm doing some real live jerking and I ain't jerking off. We got 17 more minutes. So in these 17 minutes, there are 52 politicians in which I, I that participated in this. But I ain't going to get all 52 of them. I'm shooting for the top 10. 
I'm shooting for Scott Schellenberger. I'm shooting for Greg Bernstein. Because, see, them's the heads of the snake. And if you get Greg Bernstein, Scott Schellenberger, they're going to snitch. Remember that Stop Snitching video they made in 2006? And they sent all them brothers to jail for the war on drugs, talking about the money they made and all this? Well, that gun task force participated in that. Detective Moses participated in that. Yeah. When y'all made that Stop Snitching video, y'all forgot about the police that got paid off of that too. Y'all forgot about a lot of police officers still getting paid off of that shit. I got like 10 or 15 officers that know me and they was watching what I was doing. And the push come to shove because they'll stand up. Baltimore City Police Department has a, a, a rational race of a rational race of corruption and racism that y'all ain't addressing. That's why the morale is down. That's why you can't get recruits. You got that old school and that new school and y'all ain't got no rules. Y'all cutthroat and y'all divisive. Y'all got racism in your police department and you won't even address it. You hiring from outside entities giving, gave uh, T.J. Smith all that money. You know how much, how many people got pissed off about the money that T.J. Smith made? He came from Anne Arundel County to Baltimore City, got paid, took the money, ran to Baltimore County, got paid. Now he running for mayor. And he bragging about the millions of dollars he made off of Baltimore City Police Department. Like I said, it's fuck you Friday. Fuck TJ Smith. Fuck Scott Schellenberger. Fuck Greg Bernstein. Fuck Marilyn Mosby and her husband. And if anybody want to say fuck Shorty, man. You fuck with me, remember this. I'm the alpha male. Not the one that's going to be on the bottom, bro. This is an adult conversation. Like I said, we cuss a lot in the community. We use fuck you, motherfucker, son, bitch, all that shit. It's part of my therapy. I get shit off my chest. I use tortoise because you flush that shit down the drain. Pose to. You give it to God, take it to heaven. Flush that shit down the toilet, you give it to hell. It was a Bible story that, uh, the story of Job. And Job had a job. More of a, it was a parable or a Bible story. I don't, I can't get the exact, the exact whatever it is, but it was a story and I'm going to tell you a story my way. The story of Job was a, a man, he had all the riches in the world. He had everything that a man could want and he had everything and he praised his God. He gave praise to God on a daily basis. But the devil sat here and made a bet with God and intimidated, not intimidated, but tempted God. And God ain't to be tempted and he ain't to be played with. God likes his loyalty. And I'm loyal to my God. We might not have the same God, but I got one. So the story of Job was like this. The devil said, if you took away this from Job and you took away that from Job, Job wouldn't praise you no more. Job wouldn't love you no more. So God started taking shit away from Job. He took away the things that Job loved the most. But Job never forsake his God. Job never cussed his God. This is just a story, but this is some real life shit. Because see, I ain't Catholic. I ain't Baptist. I'm just religious. You know what I'm saying? So this went on for a while. They gave Job sowers. They took Job's daughter. They took Job's riches. They made Job homeless and poor. But Job never gave up on his God. God praises God every day. He's, Job still did his prayers. He still gave homage. And the devil said, damn, I can't break Job's spirit. So the devil lost. So the devil had to pay that debt off. So God gave Job everything that Job lost 10 times over. So I look at myself as the parable of Job. I'm just doing my job. My job is to fight for inmates. My job is to fight for homelessness. See, when Jesus was on earth, Jesus was homeless too. Jesus didn't have no house. He lived with Mary. He lived with 12 disciples. Jesus was hanging out on the block. Every block he went on, he had it popping. He was turning water to wine. He was hanging out with hoes. He was down with the least amongst us. You remember that? So don't get on your high horses and don't be praising this God with your plate out. Put that plate of food out and stop putting that plate of paper out. 
Stop asking and start giving. Then you'll start living. It's Fuck You Friday. So I gave you Schellenberger. I gave you Bernstein. I gave you Mosley. But the main one on this one in my fuck you list is Governor O'Malley. I've been knowing Governor O'Malley since he was Councilman O'Malley. When he was a city council president. Governor O'Malley became Mayor O'Malley. And that's when I started fucking with him because he was fucking black people around like crazy. Governor O'Malley was writing laws and he was doing zero, zero tolerance to stop and frisk. He was doing that shit to get the, the lawyers and his friends paid in Annapolis. They set up this corruption machine back in 2004. They perfected it in 2006. When Governor O'Malley became governor, they just went hog wild with it because he put that zero to tolerance to stop and frisk. What Governor O'Malley did, he had the state's attorney, he had the public defenders, and he had the attorney generals working together to push the agenda of zero tolerance and stop and frisk. That zero tolerance and stop and frisk incarcerated 650 residents in Baltimore City. All right? Even more in Baltimore County. And you generated revenues. We're talking about millions and millions of dollars. You had people losing their jobs because they were illegally incarcerated. They was illegally charged. Now, the dissent decree proved that point. But I told y'all about this long before the Department of Justice came here. Because, see, my case file was with the Department of Justice in 2008. I reported y'all. I reported Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, and the Democratic Party, Governor O'Malley's mom machine. His mom machine is a, a, is a, a political corruption machine. All right? Blacks, whites, yeah, all of y'all in part of it. I gave y'all each a, a DVD, a, a tape. And it was called the Ghetto Da Vinci Code. Each one of y'all had a piece of the puzzle. And by the time that y'all figured it out, it was too late. I was headed toward Las Vegas in February of 2011. But to keep me from going to Vegas, you locked me up and charged me with terrorism. Governor O'Malley did that. Schellenberger did that. And your phone records are going to prove that. I'm going to give you a blueprint. And I'm going to show you something that a lot of y'all don't want to see. Now, Hassan Giordano, Kelly Davis, Ivan Bates. I want to get on y'all social media train, but y'all doing something that I already created. Because I've been on MySpace, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter using social media since 2006. This is brand new to you. It's old to me. Y'all using Zoom? Dog, I was doing this when the Commodores was making it popping. All right? It's time to be that change. It's time to be that difference. It's time to go against the grain. Y'all just can't be sheeple. Y'all got to start standing up with Martin taught y'all, what Malcolm taught y'all, what you believe in. If you believe in justice, if you believe in justice, then you need to start standing up. And these podcasts, that's what these podcasts is going to do. It's going to encourage, enlighten, and educate you. It's going to uplift you. And I'm not going to pass the plate. I'm just going to ask for 50 cents. In 30 days, I need to eat. I got to pay rent. So if you're watching this and if you feeling this and you want my support, you got to support me. I can't do this on my own. I need help. And you don't know me. I don't usually say I need nothing. But 50 cent a week, 50 cent a month ain't going to hurt none of y'all. Because y'all ain't going to spend 50 cent nowhere. Y'all throw 50 cent away. I'm going to show you what 50 cent can do for you. I'm going to educate you. I'm going to uplift you. I'm going to feed you. I'm going to feed your mind and I'm going to feed your body. By the time I finish building on you, you're going to give me more than 50 cent. You're going to give me a standing ovation. Because this ain't about me. This is about us. And if we want to get justice, us got to stand together. We're going after the courts and the grand jury. We're going after the rules that they got on, on record. We don't want no new laws. We want them to enforce the laws that they already got for everybody, not just for a class of people. We're talking about the haves and the have-nots. And it's time to stop that. Because the have-nots out, ha out, outnumber the haves. I'm fighting for Kelly Davis. I'm fighting for Tyrone West and the West Wednesday Coalition. I'm fighting for the Baltimore Block. I'm fighting for the hood. I'm fighting for anybody that want to fight for themselves. I'm fighting for anybody to say, fuck this motherfucking system and fuck this society. If you say, fuck it, damn, you know how I am. Fuck it. I'm the king of talking shit and I can back it up. Because I've been shitting on niggas since, I, since long before it was popular. I was shitting on people. And I'm going to continue to do it. I got 13 years in the game. I'm the OG of this shit. I'm the king of talking shit and I can back it up. 
I got my crown and they ain't took it yet. That's the true measure of a man. What he can say out of his mouth and how he can stand behind it. I don't run with no crew or no posse. I run with a stuffed animal in a toilet. I'm a jerk. Remember that. Google the movie The Jerk. Go look at it. I'm just a poor black man. No, I'm just a poor white man. I'm shorty. Shorty bootleg barbecue. So good it's illegal. Been in business for a long time. Talking shit and shitting on people. Bug, I'm going to give you characters. I'm going to give you P.D. Green. Because P.D. Green said fuck you too. He said fuck the establishment. When P.D. Green got tired of it, P.D. Green did his thing. P.D. Green was a living legend. I'm still alive. I ain't fell by the wayside. I haven't changed my, my persona. I haven't changed my attitude. I just changed my avenues in which I approached you. Now I'm Anchor FM. I'm moving up. I'm taking my stuff from the streets to the seats. From Instagram to podcasts. From YouTube to Netflix. We working on that. Baltimore rewired. We're going to show all the good in the hood. The positive that Baltimore has this to bring. We're going to show the positive activists. For every negative that you can show, I can show 100 people doing good. I can show you Devin Allen. I can show you Shelly. Shelly helping hands. I can show you 300 gangsters. I can show you housing our neighbors. I can show you so much good, you're going to forget about Baltimore the wire, and you're going to start showing a highlight and a positive in the community. Anchor broadcast, anchor podcast. We do live feeds, and we've been doing live feeds longer than this. This is the anniversary of Freddie Gray's murder. And I started them live feeds when uh, y'all brung WJZ and y'all had all these international medias here. And I started shutting y'all down when y'all brung Don Lemon, the Lemonhead kid from CNN down here. I told y'all y'all couldn't do live broadcast and y'all thought I was bullshitting. I shut y'all shit down. When I say something and I walk in the room, I mean it. Y'all know not to play with me. And y'all watch what y'all say to me. All I need is a reason. Give me one. Click, aim, shoot, copy, send, and paste. I'm going to stay in your motherfucking face. It ain't fuck me, it's fuck you. Fuck you Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, seven days a week. Friday's just going to be my specialty. This is an adult conversations for adults. If fuck you bothering you, don't fuck your girl. Don't fuck your man. Don't fuck your man's friend. Don't fuck with me. It's fuck you Friday for a reason. Yeah. We got six minutes left, four minutes left. So in these last four minutes, go to ddshortman at gmail.com. If you got anything, any ideas that you want to send me, go to ddshortman at gmail.com. Leave any comments on social media. Leave it on my Instagram pages, shorty underscore law. On YouTube, I'm short, short. Damn, I forgot. You can find me. Just Google me. Google Dwayne G. Davis. Google N62528. If you don't like Google, use Dogpile. Dogpile is another form of uh, information gathering. Dogpile is a good use, too. We're going to use social media like they did in The Runaway, the, uh, the Running Man. Yeah. We're going to take over the networks. We're going to do it like The Matrix. We're going to be everywhere. That Zoom broadcast gives you the ability to be everywhere just like the Matrix. So when I get that Zoom shit packed, I'm going to really invade y'all's privacy. I'm going to really invade your space. I'm going to take over your networks. It's going to be like the Twilight Zone. Yeah. Every time you flip a channel, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be spewing what my truth is against your lies. I'm going to cuss you out. I'm going to treat you. I'm going to treat you the same way you treated me. I'm not bitter. I'm better. I'm perfecting my, my craft. Because to be the best, you got to beat the best. And I know y'all trying to beat me every chance you get. So these opportunities that you get, take them. Make good use of them. Because every chance and opportunity I get, I'm going to take it. I'm going to suck up all the air and opportunities you got. Y'all go out to the, to the neighborhoods and do live feeds. 
You will no longer be able to do live feeds if I'm in there. Be like Parliament Funkadelic. Yeah, we're going to shut your shit down. Make my funk the P-Funk. I make my funk uncut. Be like Mr. Wiggles the Worm. I'm going to be one sli slithering idiot. I'm going to slide through the molecules of water like an eel through seaweed. And you can't fuck with me. You can't shut my live feeds down. You can't shut them off. But WJZ, Fox 45, WBAL, your live feeds got to go back to the station. You got to cut and edit your shit. I ain't got to cut edit nothing that I do. Baltimore, The Wire, we're going to give it to you live seven days a week. What being black in Baltimore is really like. You got a problem with me? Holler at me. I ain't hard to find. I got a phone number. 443-831-1188. Respect me or hate me. You're going to love the shit I got. Till next time, till we meet again. We getting ready to cut this broadcast off. It's also dedicated to James MacArthur. He did the first podcast with me back in 2000 and something. That podcast has saved the changes. It's downloading. Life has a purpose. Find your gift. All right? Shorty's bootleg barbecue. Shorty's underground. Shorty's film making. Shorty's everywhere. And we talking about Baltimore rewired. We talking about Governor Hogan. We talking about our community. And we're gonna do it through society shame. Social media for social change. Tune in at eight o'clock tomorrow. It's gonna be the good in the hood tomorrow. We're gonna show the positive Baltimore got to bring. All the positive activists, all the good things we do in the feedings in the community. Let's feed the city. Let's talk about it. Chime in. Share this broadcast. Make it grow. Like the man said, kill it before it grows. Dog, I've grown my underground since 2006. I'm too deep in the community to die. Mic check. <laughs>